Day three. Today, we will learn that good writers need to give lots of reasons why people should follow our ideas. We want to make sure we're giving reasons so we can be more convincing. So that way, they're going to be listening to us. Remember, reasons need to be convincing. We want to be so convincing that people can change their minds. Remember last time we saw this and we noticed this back in school? So I noticed that there was a big issue at our school. Kids were running in the hallway. So later on, I started to draft this writing. I'm not sure if this is too convincing though. So I wrote, I think the hallways could be better because sometimes people run. Don't run. Hmm, I'm not sure if I just say don't run is a good convincing enough reason for people. So remember how I wrote, I think the hallways could be better because sometimes people run, don't run. This is not very convincing. I need to come up with good reasons why people should not run. So maybe people shouldn't run because it's dangerous. Um, you might fall or you can crash into other people. I think those are even better reasons, like telling people that it's dangerous, that they might fall or crash into other people is much better and much more convincing reasons than just telling people not to run, right? So for the problem that you want to fix, what were some of your reasons? So let's think about it. Think about the issues that you guys want to write about. What were some of the things you wanted to fix? But remember, you guys have to think of really, really strong and convincing reasons. So, hmm, keep thinking. So go back into your writing and go ahead and add those reasons in. Make sure your reasons are super convincing. Alrighty, everyone. Good luck and go back into your writing and write those reasons down. But don't forget, make sure they are super convincing.